Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you an example uh, on the binary dependent variable model. I know we already had an example in class, but it was relatively a simple example. So I'm just going to give you um, kind of an expanded version of, um, of a model uh, that uses a binary dependent variable. So before I start, just to um, uh, make sure that we are all on the same page. So we said uh, we have three types of models, the linear probability model, the probit model, the logit model. Okay, and then for the first one, again, anything in this topic is about a Y uh, that takes only two outcomes, either one or zero. So this one we call outcome, okay, because something happens or it does not happen. My computer crashes or it does not. You go to the labor force or not. You graduate or not. You pass or fail, you know. So, so it's either uh, yes or no, like your dependent variable, the one that you want to estimate is either yes or no. So with these types of uh, model, we deal with the dependent variable as if we want to compute its expectation. So what is the expectation of y given x? Okay, and for, um, for this uh, uh, expectation, we can also be more specific and say it's what's the expectation that y happens given x. So it's the same way of uh, writing expectation of y given x or expectation of y equal 1 given x because of what I said in class. If I multiply 1 times 1 and then um, expectation of 1 equals 0 times 0, it will end up by being expectation of y equals 1. And then the LPM model, this expectation is simply the beta naught plus beta 1 x. Okay, and these are kind of the, the hats. Um, in the probit model, the expectation of y, let me write it uh, in an equal one, given x is the cumulative distribution function of beta hat naught plus beta hat one x. And in the logit model, the expectation of y equal one given x is the logistic distribution function of beta hat naught plus beta hat 1 x. Okay, and this f is simply the logistic distribution of 1 over 1 plus e to the power negative, and then you plug whatever you have in the bracket in here. Okay, so this is what we did in class. Okay, and um, two important things to mention here. If I want to find the change, right? If I want to, to find the change in the expectation of y given x, okay? So, in order to get this expectation uh, or the change in this expectation in a linear probability model, it's easy, right? So, this one is simply the change in the probability of y for a one unit change in x. And as I said in class, we cannot say the same thing for this one, we cannot say the same thing for this one. So for beta 1, which is inside the bracket of the cumulative distribution function, cannot be interpreted the same way as we used to do when beta was just in a linear model. Here, beta 1 is, like the whole function is nonlinear, right? So you have the parameters and the x inside a CDF. So that means I cannot just take this parameter and interpret. The same thing for here, beta 1 is inside a logistic distribution function, so I cannot interpret this one. Given these um, outputs, the only thing I can do 
and as I was answering um, Alex's question in class, the only thing I can do is, it's not the only thing, that the things that I can do, um, I can compare the signs, plus, 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 so that means that X has a positive impact on, on the expectation or the probability of Y, so this is I can do. I can also compute the t-statistic because I'm going to have a standard error under each of these parameters. I can still do whatever I used to do, which is divide the parameter divided by the standard error to get the t-statistic. So I can say whether statistically significant or not. That's it. But I cannot say anything about the magnitude. Okay? Um, to... To, to say something about the magnitude, then let's say, uh, let me talk about, let's say, the probit model. So in the probit model, suppose I have uh, the expectation of y, okay, given x is equal to the CDF of beta naught plus beta hat 1 x. Suppose I have more than 1 x, so let's expand this model, x1, plus beta hat 2 x2, plus beta hat 3 x3. And suppose I'm asking you, what is the impact or the effect of one unit increase in x1 on uh, the expectation of y given x. In other words, I'm asking you about this one, okay, beta hat one. And then holding, holding. let me just add this one because I'm going to subtract points if you don't write holding everything else constant. Okay, so holding all other factors constant. Okay. So in order to be able to analyze this beta one, you're going to be doing something like this. Um, I'm going to find the change in the CDF beta hat naught plus beta hat 1 x okay um, think of it it's one unit so just say x new okay uh, or x1 new right plus Beta hat 2, nothing has changed in x2, nothing has changed in x3, right? Minus the CDF of beta hat naught plus beta hat 1 x original, okay? So, in order to be able to get the change in the expectation of y given x, right? It's going to be equal to the expectation of y given x equal new value minus the expectation of y given x equal or x1. I have to be I have to say x1 here. Uh, x1 here, uh, not old, I said original, so let me write it as original. Everything else is held, held constant, so I'm not going to talk about others, so this is like x1. Okay, so the difference between these two probabilities would give me the expectation of y given x. But the question is, and this is very important, what are the values I need to plug in here for x2 and x3? I know this one is, I'm saying one, like, new values. I'm going to be telling you what is the old and what is the new, 
okay uh, so the question is what I'm going to plug in here for x2 and x3 so the default is usually we say I'm going to set x2 x2 and x3 at the means at their means the averages okay so you get the data set you compute out of the data set something called x2 bar which is the average of x2 you have x3 bar which is the average of x3 right and let's say the question is going to be telling you what is the increase in x1 by one unit okay uh, let's say for example from just an example from 16 to 17 so that means you're going to have let's say the new one here let me just uh, be uh, giving you on with a number so it's going to be beta 1 17 right which is the new x with the old x and this is set to its mean set to its mean set to its mean set to its mean so each one of these is set so the bar here stands for the mean okay is set to its mean so I have to be giving you some values for uh, x2 and x3 so that you're able to compute the CDF for the new x the CDF for the old x and they get the difference in between the two okay or or I, I can also be telling you some information like more specific uh, information um, let's say I'm going to give you some values for this one and this one so what is the change in expectation of y given x if uh, uh, x1 if x1 increases from 16 to 17 and x2 and x3 are equal to let's say I'm just gonna give you some numbers um, and x2 and x3 are equal to 5 and 7 okay so that means in this situation you, what you need to do is you plug the values instead of the mean like one option is I'm going to tell you the mean and the other option I'm going to give you some values for it that has to be constant in both uh, CDFs so this one is going to be let's say 5 and this one is going to be 7 and this one is going to be again 5 and this one is going to be 7 and that's the idea of holding all other factors constant because this 5 and 7 state 5 and 7 and I care about the 17 and the 16 or the one unit increase in x1 okay so this also um, extends for the logit model so the logit model exactly we're going to do the same okay whenever I have an f function that has all of these parameters in here and I'm asking you about a change in x1 from a certain value to another value from an old value to a new value then I have to tell you something about the x2 and x3 okay so that you're able to compute the before and after of, of the chosen variable holding the other two constant either at their means or at a specific value okay all right so I'm going to send you this and then I'm going to go over an example